Hiya! So, I mentioned in my vlog that I did as my sort of like, hello, I'm back and explaining what was going on, which I will link down below if you missed it video. Could I say a bit more, a bit more quickly there? Um, that I had some videos to film. So this is my haul that I've sort of done over the last two months while I've been gone. It doesn't include any birthday goodies or anything like that. These are purely bits and pieces that I've bought over the last sort of like two and a half, it might even be three months. So yeah, I'm gonna jump straight in. The first thing that I picked up was this, and this is Bronze Goddess from Estee Lauder. Now, unless you live under a stone, you will have heard of this, and it is still available in a few sort of locations and stuff, but this is the Bronze Goddess, so it's got the beautiful mirrored gold bottle, and it literally smells like heaven. It's a coconut base. It's not an Eau de Parfum or an Eau de Toilette. I think they call it an Eau de Sun Spray. Eau Fresh Skin Scent. So it doesn't hang around on your skin like a perfume or perhaps quite as long as an Eau de Toilette, but it is just beautiful. And every year I say I'm gonna get it. And this year I took the plunge and I Box did. is this. And this is one of the Santi Gold Collection Cold Pencils. And it's one of their Be Legendary pencils and it's double-ended. And on this end, you've got a lovely yellow gold. And then on the other end, and the reason that I probably bought it, if I'm honest, is as your right is never wrong. And it is just the most beautiful electric blue. It is stunning. I've been wearing this a lot in my waterline and on my lower lash line. I absolutely love it. And the other day, actually, I wore it instead of black liner across the top with really simple eyes, just a little bit of soft brown in my crease, and it looked beautiful. So I love then it. Then I've bought, I've been on a bit of a, looking at these things, I've actually bought three lip glosses, which isn't like me, because as you know, I loved glosses, and I kind of went off of them and went on to lipsticks. Well, I seem to have fallen in love with glosses again, and I've got three. I have Instagrammed most of this stuff, so if you want to see any of it in detail, it's all on my Instagram. Um, this is the first one. This is Bare Minerals Marvellous Moxie, and this is in the shade Hypnotist. And on camera, it's sort of coming off more pinky, but in the tube, it's one of those that is like blue, green, purple, yellow, and it actually changes colour. It's got a really nice day for applicator, and when you actually put it on the skin, I don't know if you're actually going to be able to see in the camera because it's quite subtle. It's this one here yeah no you can't really see it it's like a peach with gold shimmer shot through it but i just really like the fact that it changed color in the tube i thought it was really cute and um, the next one are these two and i've actually got this one on today it's just a clear gloss with sparkle in it and this is one of the gloss in love from longcomb and this is in the number 200 i forget the names they do have names and it really frustrates me that they're not on the bottom um but with these you just push the little button and they pop up and you pull them out so as i said this is just the clear that i've got on i really like the little applicator on these because one side is doe foot to fit your bottom lip and then the other top is rounded and that's for your top lip um but i really like them they really last a long time on the lips and then this is shade 144 which is like a corally sparkly little bit of heaven if you ask me so I'll swatch that for you. I picked them because I wanted something that was sheer that I could wear with lipstick. But if I wanted a really simple look like today, I could wear. So that's the number one for The next product there. that I got is this. And this is one of the collection exclusive Colour Riche lipsticks from L'Oreal. Um, I'm not a massive fan of nude lips, as you know, because they tend to make me look a little bit dead. Um, especially not concealer lips, just doesn't suit me. I love it on some other girls, it looks literally stunning, but it just doesn't suit me. But as you know, I'm a little bit obsessed with JLo, she's probably my icon. I think she's stunning, I think she's beautiful, I just love everything about her. And so I decided that I needed her nude lipstick. Um, I've already swatched it here because my battery died. Um, and it's this one here, and it is, for me, a perfect nude. It's my lips, but better. It's really moisturising, really nourishing, and I absolutely love it. Then a little bit of a luxury purchase. Um, this was an impulse buy. I was on training and there was a Chanel counter in the store where I was visiting. And so I decided that I needed to pick up one of these. Now these are the Rouge Allure Velvet Lipsticks and this is in the shade 44 La Diva. Now the packaging on these is literally to die for. You press and it pops up and then you pull it out. Oh, it's got that amazing Chanel lipstick fragrance and it is 
my typical colour. A bright hot pink. It's not quite neon. I have compared it to Candy Yum Yum and it is slightly different so I don't feel too guilty. But the texture is literally amazing. It's um, a matte finish but they do feel like velvet on your lips and it is really really long lasting and I'm so excited to have this in my collection. I did go through and swatch all the hot pinks and neons and things like that that I had and they do seem to be my favourite because there's two more lipsticks that I'm going to be showing you that are from MAC and they're both again neon hot pinky so must be a thing that I like but anyway so that is Lediva from Chanel Beautiful. The next things are, let's have a look, I'm going to show you this one first. I bought, I only bought one item from the, is it the Aquatic, what was it called? I can't remember what it was called, is it the Aquatic Collection from MAC? Um, when it was released originally over here and this was what I bought and you can see I've really shown this some love, it's very worn down. And this is Aphrodite Shell Extra Dimension Bronzer. Now the packaging is gorgeous, I love turquoise, it's one of my favourites. And it's got the little water droplets on it so it looks really pretty. Now, as I said, this is one of the extra dimension blushes. I really, really hope they make these permanent because it is beautiful. This for me, I've got it on today. Um, I've got a foundation on though that I was trialing and I really don't like it. So I look a little bit strange to me. So it doesn't look as I normally look when I wear this, but I'm literally obsessed with it. And I'm so obsessed with it that I did something that I very, very rarely do. And I bought it back up because it was limited edition and if they don't make it permanent, I want to be able to get hold of this colour. The colour, I think I said, was Aphrodite Shell, and it is literally just beautiful. For me, it is the perfect colour. I use it on a big, fluffy brush, and I go over my cheekbone and under for my contour, and I use it as a two-in-one for more of a sun-kissed look. But it's just there, and it is literally Something beautiful. Something else I bought when I bought that originally was this and this is one of the shaping powders which is one of the pro line products that they've recently put online um, and this is in the shade emphasize and this is they say it's a shaping powder but I've actually been using it for setting my um, under eye concealer it's literally just a white shimmery powder and I love it I've been using it every day it doesn't crease it's just fabulous perfect for me so I'm really really pleased with that this in here um ah yes another one of the pro products that they put on there reflex glitter and this one's in bronze i love glitter i'm called maria sparkle so it's pretty obvious and anything that's sort of goldy bronzy is right up my street so i thought i'd go for the bronze and add that to the collection um i've worn it under my lower lash line i had it on in a picture that i instagrammed a couple about a week ago i think um, at my friend's wedding and it was beautiful and it's really twinkly and sparkly but without being obnoxious and then the last thing is two lipsticks now this was one of the MAC by request ones and this is in the shade pink poodle and it is a glaze finish now when this was part of the was it the Archie collection the yeah the Archie collection I didn't get it I wasn't particularly fussed by it at the time and I was like no I don't need it and I was trying to be good I didn't actually buy anything from that whole collection but when they did this I, I'd seen quite a lot of pictures of it and googled it a lot and I was like I need it now so I picked up Pink Poodle and again I'm going to put it here Poodle is a glaze finish and it is again a hot blue based pink so another one for me but what's really nice about this one is it does have a little bit of a sheen to it and a little bit of shimmer so it is a little bit different it's the same, I would say it's the same colour as Girl About Town, but without being as matte. And Girl About Town is one of my all-time favourites, so I'm really pleased with it. Um, probably didn't need it, but I wanted it, so hey-ho. And then this is the next one, and this is from the Toyland collection. Um, again, I looked at all of it, and I was like, I don't really want much of it, if any of it. There's just a couple of lipsticks. Um, was it Red Balloon, I think it was, or Toying Around? No, Toying Around. That ended up being out of stock, so I was a bit disappointed. But I did get Happy Go Lucky, which, guess what, is a neon pink. Um, this one is an amplified finish, so it's not as matte as Candy Yum Yum, but I would say it's the same colour, if I'm honest. Um, I'm going to put that one here. 
so this is like candy yum yum but a little bit more glossy so it's just there so if you have got candy yum yum you don't really have to get happy go lucky unless you are a neon pink blue based pink lipstick addict like me so yeah not an essential but for me i'm really pleased i got it because i love candy yum yum but sometimes i just feel if my lips are dry it's just a little bit too matte for me and sometimes it doesn't feel as wearable as this will because i love the amplified finish they're probably one of my favorites so that was my mammoth haul from the last sort of like three two and a half three months two months however long it's been um and bits that i've been collecting I really really hope you enjoyed this video as I've said before thank you so much for all your support I really really appreciate it anyway I really really hope you have a good day and I'll see you all soon bye